Welcome to Imaginate, everybody. We're joined now by Chief Scientist Carl Nelson here at Imagination Station in the Extreme Science Theater. I've never been in this particular part of the building before, but uh, what do we have in front of us here? Halloween is coming soon, right? And so we're going to do some really cool stuff with slime. And I, I thought one way you can really amp up your slime game, right, is actually by using a fluorescent light, uh, highlighter. This is uh, just a regular old highlighter, which has, has a dye inside of it. If you take one of these things apart, there's a little sponge in there, and that dye is what we're going to be using today. It's called fluorescein. And it's, it's actually pretty cool. Um, come on down here just for yeah. a second. I got, I've got, instead of using the uh, highlighter, I've got the actual powder here. And this is just such a beautiful demonstration of how this stuff it's uh, fluoresces. It's like cayenne pepper or it something. Does. Like a regular... I want you to sprinkle that on top of the, the glass here. Move it back just a little bit. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's moving. That's OK. We're going to add some ultraviolet light here. All right. And just go ahead and give a good sprinkle on the top. Just put the whole thing in there. Yeah, just dump it in. Wow, look at this. That is just like the most just sinking that down. That's dye the comes thing. down inside there. This is the stuff they use in like life jackets, so that uh, rescue crews can actually see people that uh, you know fall in the ocean and whatnot. Um, in disasters. So they, would they shine down UV light to? You, you, to get you can this? use UV light to see it. It's actually it's, it's you can even see it in regular light. It's very bright as well. So we're going to use that fluorescein dye to make some slime. And you can put that down. I've, right. I've, I've given you a container of guar gum mixture. This is the stuff that was used uh, in the original slime back in the 70s. And guar gum, it's a food thickener. It's eight times thickening power of cornstarch. It's a good thing they didn't use uranium or something that actually no. glows here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our guar gum, go ahead and pour it into your bowl. All right. And while we do that, we're going to talk a little yeah, bit. The big jar? Yeah, All the right. big one. Just pour it in. Now, guar gum is made up of really long strands of polymers like this. And by itself, it's, it looks like it's a little bit thick. But things get really interesting if you add your guar gum and you add in a cross linker. I'm just tossing in little magnets here. But look what happens. Now it my chains are all intertwined together. And you have a cross linker right there. It's called borax. That borax, when we add it to our slime, is going to cross link those polymer chains. And that's what gives it that. Well, let's just do it. Go ahead and pour it. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna add my guar gum, and I'm gonna add a little bit. Yeah, just pour that whole thing in. I'm gonna add a little food coloring to mine. I don't have the fancy fluorescein you do. I'm getting Ghostbusters vibes already now, off of this. Just take your, for your free hand and gently just sort of mix that up. And what you're gonna just do is describe to us what's happening in there. Okay, it's definitely getting a little more solid here, semi-solid, but yeah, I can feel the slime come, uh, coming it, here already. You know, it'll like, take a little while. Now, you can obviously, everybody knows how to make slime, right? You can find all sorts of recipes on the corn internet. Cornstarch and water is the one I always knew. Well, that, that's actually an, another thing called oobleck, which is similar, okay. um, but both of these are what are called non-Newtonian substances, so they, they, don't, they don't quite follow Newton's laws of viscosity, but <laughs> it, it is so cool. Now, this stuff, Unlike the school glue slime, mm -hmm. this is like a little, I don't know, I want to, I, I like the texture. And, and slime is all about texture, right? Oh, and you know what? I for, totally forgot. I got so excited about slime. We got to bring the UV light over here. Pull yours up. Check this out. And that is cool. All from that highlighter fluorescein dye. So if you're going to make slime for Halloween and you got some black lights, get the fluorescent highlighters out um, and dye your slime so it glows under UV light. And, and try to uh, have some paper towels at the ready, the hand yes. washing station. Yes. Now, this stuff will thicken up over time. If, if we keep massaging it and keep uh, working with it, it'll get thicker and thicker. But it'll still maintain that sort of like jelly-like uh, texture. <laughs> Just don't ruin the KitchenAid in the process. There, don't, trying don't, to mix it through. Don't here. put it down the drain. That's number one rule. It, it, you'll, uh, another experiment called call the plumber. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to like that one. Or the parents won't like that one. Not exactly. All right. Is that so is cool? some fantastic, fantastic stuff here. One last shot of all of this glowing green slime here. And thank you so much. Yeah. I'm Dan. That's Carl. And that's how you imagine it.